Does this remind you of Drake? <laughs> Today is the day. I have been hoarding these things for months, literally months, since last year. I don't know how I've stayed quiet this entire time. Today is the day. These bad boys are getting put off the car. <laughs> Let's get this thing rolling. That's not all. That is not all that's happening today. I am also lowering the car. I'm about to head to Jay's Motorsports here in Tampa. And I was initially going to do the install myself, but I am such in a short span of time right now. I simply just don't have the time. But my really, really great friends over there took me in last minute and we are going to get this done today with the wheels. I am so excited. Look at this, look at this. Here we have the springs, we have the wheels. Not only that, we have all of these other mystery boxes. What's in the box? That have just been sitting here waiting for me. So with that being said, we are gonna head over there. We're gonna get the wheels, the springs on, and then I'm gonna come back and open some of these boxes to see what they are because they will probably be in the next video. I have an idea of what a few of them are, so let's get this going. Why do you so heavy? How much do you think a Honda Fit can fit? <laughs> five bars, five seconds. How much Honda Fit could a Honda Fit fit if a Honda Fit could fit Honda's? Honda Fits? <laughs> adjustable lowering springs. What's really cool and different about these springs from other springs is that they are adjustable, which is also the reason as why I went with these springs because I do want to get as low as possible. These are the front collars, these are the rears, and as you can see, they are adjustable, they spin so you can raise and lower it. I do plan to switch to coils down the road, but we'll see. I do want to have everything done before Beamer Invasion because it is literally this coming weekend. I do want to give you a closer look at the Meisters. So here we have the rears. I did do 20 by 10, 20 by 11. Look how big these boys are. Damn boy, he thick, boy! What are these? The first 20 Meisters going on an M2. I don't think it's been done before. Works actually just recently released the 20s within the last year. And so as soon as I was informed that you could buy 20s, I immediately placed an order pretty much like right after getting the car. And I didn't receive these until November of last year with production time shipping. There was a little bit of an issue with shipping, but thankfully, they got here and they're perfect and I can't wait to have them on the car and ready for Beamer Invasion. The car is gonna look chef's kiss. Oh, beautiful. And I'm also gonna have the F87 there. So this is gonna be the first event that I'm gonna have both cars at. I'm gonna have the booth with the new merch. And that will all go up on the website after Beamer Invasion. But I'm hoping this video is out before Beamer Invasion because the car is obviously, it's going to be there. It's gonna have everything done to it. And so I want you guys to be able to experience it while everybody at the event is experiencing it too. But I know for sure after Beamer Invasion, the next event will be Riverside. So I hope to see you at both. First look, test fitting them on. The fronts were what I was most scared for not fitting. And look how close. Please look how close that is. It literally sits out into the face. It looks so good. But the rears, the rears just done did it. Right there. I'm gonna have to get like a five millimeter spacer, honestly. But I gotta find one because I was not mentally prepared for the rear not fitting. If that just fit, if it wasn't off by such a subtle amount, it would look so good. You see how much it's sitting off? It's literally so stinking close. I just have to go and get a spacer for the rear and then they should be good. It's officially time. 
I had never tried Jollibee's before and all my friends tell me I need to and Mikkel is making us go. Not really, we all wanna go, but I'm excited. We have to document this moment. Wait, did you get a side of spaghetti or is yours different? Oh, that's a side, that's a side. Smaller. Lord, I'm doing this all wrong. <laughs> I'm doing this all wrong. That is scorching hot, holy crap. It's falling apart. It's literally falling off the bone. Yeah. All right, we're gonna dip this I need one of these by me. I'll tear it up right here. Right now. Raw. Tear it up right now. I'm just about down. Is this actually sweet spaghetti? Yeah. How do you make spaghetti sweet? Um, I don't know. Banana. So it's banana. It's like uh, it's banana tomato. Okay, that is a. I swear to God, it is so good. It's either you're a fan or you're not a fan. I can't explain the taste of it. <laughs> Does that look good or? Mine are crooked, so. I'm scared. Does that look crooked? Come on, come on. It's official. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. We have acquired a 12 millimeter spacer, thankfully last minute, and now it should clear. How many it people does it yeah, take to put on thing. one wheel? Yeah. Can we just look at how close that is? the amount of how much it barely clears. It doesn't matter what um, what welcome. other G87 has, whatever kit on it, whatever. This just stomps. You're welcome. On it. You're welcome. You're welcome. It serves. It serves charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Wow. <laughs> now just wait till tomorrow when the rest of the things go on in the next video. Oh! All right. So essentially, we are moving everything from one shop to another. We test fitted the wheels, got everything done. And now we're going to go re-put them on at Paul's shop. Thank you, thank you, thank you, J Motorsports. And Tampa, you guys are literally the best. You treat me too well. They did an amazing job. I can't wait to put this thing on the ground for you guys to see it. It looks so good. Back on stockies. I'm ready to put these wheels on officially. Officially. And then bring it to Beamer Invasion. Right next to the trash, right where it belongs. Right where it belongs. I'm excited because I'm putting the wheels on and then we're having like a little meet thing tonight so it'll be the first outing immediately for the car before Beamer Invasion. But Beamer Invasion is going to be the official the official show that it will be seen at. We're pulling it in. That's your new car. Get you a little. Get you a little. Does this remind you of Drake? Hold up, wait, no, stop. What's that shirt you got there? You mean this one? The coolest shirt that you could own right now? Look at it. We those look twins. like, those look like, those look I like don't know, man. those. I don't think they're the same at all. This is the real one, that's the knockoff. 
Oh, yeah. that yeah. makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Real, okay. Not real. Yeah. All right. After a full day, everything is officially done. Springs are on. The wheels are on. This is gonna be my first official look of it outside, out of a shop, on the ground. Wheels on. I'm tired, yo. I've had too much caffeine and not enough water today. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I just can't stop cheesing, bro. Oh, yeah. It looks so good. Oh my god. Hold up, y'all ready to see this? Look at that beauty. Look at the blue on white. Look at those lips. God dang. Yeah, she yours. Yeah. I'm gonna be driving this thing all night cheesing so hard. So hard. All right, I wanna give you guys a little rundown of everything from today. So my most concerning was the fronts fitting and they cleared, the fronts cleared no problem, but the rears did not, which is surprising because I didn't think that would be an issue at all. But luckily I was able to get a 12 mil spacer for the rear and longer lugs so that I was able to put them on and enjoy them. Monday I do have to go and grab my own spacer and lugs. I think I'm gonna add a 10, maybe 12 mil spacer in the front so it can sit a little bit more flush. But the rear has to be a 12. I was thinking potentially a 10, but after putting on the 12, you can definitely see, bro, look at that, bro. Look at that clearance. That is just, I wish you could see it better. But as far as the wheel specs, it is 20 by 10, 20 by 11, uh, nine, plus nine offset all around. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wash the car because it needs to be washed, especially before this meet that we're going to. And then tomorrow I have some more things I'm gonna be doing to the car, which will be in the next video, which is so exciting. Things are getting done way faster, but the wheels look absolutely phenomenal. So beautiful, stunning. Please comment below your thoughts on the wheels. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with videos and I will see you guys in the next one.